to Flexing on the Beat. So I'm back with another get ready. Well, this is actually my first get ready with me. So I, the first one, you know, I did, it was kind of like a talk over. So we're going to actually, you know, go through this one and actually, um, like talk through it because yeah also you get a two for one video because you'll understand where i am when you watch the other video that goes with this so let's just go ahead you have been doing good um i'm actually trying a bunch of new products today and there's there's no space in this whatsoever but i'm already late so yeah so i'm gonna prime my face also there's a mirror right here and back there so y'all see where i'm looking trying to stray away from kardashian products like i really used to mess with them but you know when they became like full out culture vultures eh. but this one was mad cute so i copped i know i know i gave her my coins i know and then for highlighter i'm gonna be trying the i think it's pronounced um Uoma. Uoma, i feel like it's nigerian the patrick star and jackie Ina um collabo they did i only got the highlighter the palette really was that interesting to me so only got the highlighters this one is barbados i have notting hill too but i chose to bring barbados and then from juvia's place y'all know i rock with them they had another sale so i finally got the heroin glow this is the original highlighter it's a pressed one that's what it looks like so i'm gonna be trying that out i usually like to mix highlighters anyway so of course i brought both those and then um the foundation sticks never tried them i've always wanted to get them so i'm gonna try them out today hopefully they look correct on my face so we'll we'll see how they play out but yeah so i think that's all i'm gonna start on my eyebrows what we gonna, we're gonna talk today because i have been um oh it's like another thing that i'm trying new they're setting powder i didn't bring anything else besides this and my um air spun because this is like my go-to Besides the Fenty, my Fenty the like summer color type thing, so I don't really use it right now. But yeah, I'm gonna just try this one because I like the whole like yellow undertone look of your face. Okay, so bunch of new products on my face. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right into it. Do y'all watch Love Is Blind? Because I really need to vent. Like, I know, um. Like, I wasn't expecting a Bad Girls Club reunion, but I was expecting a little bit more life. I don't know if, um, I don't know if, you know, they had a contract as to where they were like, hey, yo, like, y'all can't, um, y'all can't be wilding out like that. Um, which they probably did, because Nick and what's her name seemed mad, um, like mad 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 like yo y'all aren't doing this this isn't like regular reality tv another thing i like about it is that it has a mirror inside of it even though it's the baby you know it's the mini palette it has a mirror inside of it so that's why i really mess with it and i love the colors if y'all didn't know purple is my favorite color so yeah but y'all that reunion was um it was it was disappointing honestly because i was like okay carlton the coon came back i was like oh my god i was this and this and that and then he wants to give that fake ring i was like a lot of it was cringeworthy and i was just like yo like why why are we doing this the only people i really even wanted to hear about was lauren and cameron and amber and barnett because they actually got buried you know everybody else i don't know why they was there and i was i was the you know at the end of the show if you haven't watched the show and you plan on watching it don't listen to this because it's a bunch of spoilers but i was so shocked that um kelly was her name kelly kelly came in with the haymaker i was like what they were acting like they were um the perfect perfect couple and she came in and she was like bye i was like i'm not marrying you and the way Kenny handled it was so, I like, I was like, Kenny's a good man. You shouldn't have did him like that. Grant said, you know, you weren't going to marry him, but you should have gave him the heads up. Like, you know, I'm not trying to get married. But that's, like, that's one of the things I would change um, 
that's how it changed about the show. Like, why did you have to make people get on the aisle, have their families there, get off in the white dress and the suits, and then it's boom, I'm not marrying you. That's like, that's embarrassing to me. And I know if that was me, no, my family in there, I know it would have either went how Giannina's family did, because you know they were super like bummed with it, or it would have been fighting, because I know my mom and my um, my mom and her sisters. So I'm like, you know, just give the heads up with it. That was that was one thing I would change about the show. Also, the um, immediately having to get married after the whole process, eh, no. Cause I was like, I was like everybody else. I was like, okay, I would I would do something like that if it didn't result in immediate marriage. Cause I'm like, okay, like you know, we can date blind, whatever, whatever. Why do we have to get married two days after? Doesn't make sense. But you know, it was part of the experiment. But yeah, I was like, mm, I don't know. It was disappointing. Another thing that happened, okay. So, those who have me on Snapchat will know because I was posting this. I was like, ooh, I'm gonna be a part of Team Swirl, whoop de whoop whoop. Here's, here, here's my thing. Cause a lot of people are like, oh y'all, it's okay for um, black girls and white guys to be together, but when the black guy dates a white girl, it's a whole, um, it's a whole ordeal. Like, I understand where y'all are coming with, from with that. I understand where guys come from with that because it seems like it is a double standard and um like that type of relationship is more accepted than um a guy and a girl a black guy and a white girl but my thing is my only point with that whole situation is when like a lot of times when black guys say they mean outside of you know their race they start like downing black girls like man i don't do black girls anymore because of such and such i don't date you know this this and this because of such and such because of such and such and i'm just like eh, date who you date you know i truly don't care like if you would like to date a squirrel you can go ahead and do that just don't start bashing that's my um that's my whole issue don't do the bashing stuff it's not necessary at all like yeah man you know i had to stop dating black girls because it's all of a sudden you know they have attitudes they're this they're that but then she when you like to a latina me. girl and it's like oh man i love a little spice i love a little like shut shut up shut up you sound stupid and you sound like a like shut up like this one time um this one time my friend he was dating this bird and um she was she was um hispanic and so she retweeted something where it was like, oh my gosh, I really love, you know, Hispanic um, and black couples because the babies come out cuter or something like that. It was something stupid like that. And so I quoted it and I was like, yuck, you know, because that's a very stupid statement. And she was like, you have an issue. She messaged me. She was like, you have an issue with Latina and black couples. I was like, first of all, girl, I'm you and my friend. I was like, I'm y'all's biggest fan, but don't start making stupid ass statements because that's when you're gonna have an issue with me and she was like oh you know it wasn't like that and i was like girl girl bye and like people really started to try and like be on some stuff on twitter you know how twitter be and i was like goodbye have a seat have several talking about you don't i was like girl don't don't do that you know that statement that she made was ignorant is a mug so don't do that but yeah you know just also the thing of like fetishizing, fetish, what's, what's the word, fetish, fetishizing about mixed race children, strange, very strange. I don't understand it, but not my business. A lot of people are obsessed with mixed baby, mixed babies, hence the Kardashians. Um, but yeah, watch Love is Mine, don't. It's a good show, but don't let it get your hopes up too much because you'll be disappointed. Also, I am definitely, um, after seeing Cam, woo, maybe, uh, maybe I am known for this world. Wink. <laughs> but no, nah, I don't know. Um, I feel like I was just talking on the side of my neck, but you know, like I said, big we want. I look probably like, girl, we can't even see you. Look, I need a mirror for a minute. I'm sorry. 
I need a mirror and light and it's barely both in here. It's so small, it's ridiculous. I should have brought my um Too flexing on the mirror that I like to use. Because this here. But yeah, so um I'm in New York. I'm just here for the night though. I'm here for the Millennium Tour. I decided in the year 2020 that I am no longer waiting for people to go places. That's how you die doing nothing in your life. Like I can't base the things that I want to do off other people's availability. Like if you come, you come, great. It's nice to have a travel buddy, but if you can't, I'm a big girl. I can, you know, I can handle it. Granted, my um my father is not pleased, but I mean, if I was like, like if I was living alone. I'd be doing this anyway, except I wouldn't be informing you because I don't live with you. So, you know, he'll get over it though. But yes, I done walked through rain, hail, sleet, snow, everything. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get there early and have a good time in New York before the concert. And then, cause I took a bus out here. And then the bus driver, he wanted to be 30 minutes late. Everybody was pissed. Y'all know how New Yorker people are. So New Yorker people and then Boston people had bad attitudes. So they were all up there pissed. He was coming up there having attitudes too. And then, so we're on the road. This man stops while we're on the road. He was like, whose music is playing that loud? I shouldn't be able to hear your music all the way up here. We were like, sir. You already done made us late. We were supposed to be here at 3 o'clock. We got into the city at 4, almost 5. I was like, like my G, you done already made us late. Don't, don't do that. And then I get to the hotel. Listen, I get to the hotel. My room is not ready. Mind you, it's 6 p.m. by the time I get to the hotel because I have to go um, to Foot Locker and somewhere else to collect a few items. So, um, I get, I'm already late and then um, my room is already. So they're like, okay, we got a room, we're gonna send you to the room. They sent me to the room. That room is having maintenance done to it. Like there was no shower head, the door on the shower was gone. And I was like, I got that ass right now. Like, and I'm not the person that likes to like turn up on people, but I feel like he can tell by my face. He was like, no, 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 it's okay. And he gave me a voucher. He was like, here's a voucher for the bar. You can go get free drinks. You get your free meal. I was like, okay. I was like, it pays to be nice because had I went and um popped off on him, I don't think I'd have had the same uh, reaction. So it pays to be nice. It pays not to, um, you know, pop your guns at first. Granted, it was like an annoying, annoying mistake. I've never used foundation sticks, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. But when buying, this is all they have in there. But I mean, it's not that expensive, so I guess you get what you're getting for. But um, when like I always buy my makeup online, it's very, very seldom that I go in store to buy makeup. So like picking foundations, it was like, I was a little scared because I was like, Lord, I ain't trying to look like no Oompa Loompa. I, the spirit of the Oompa Loompa is not on me. That's not my, um, you know, it's not my, my testimony. That's, if you want to look like, you know, 2000 Cent Snooki or Peter, what is it? What do you look like in the chocolate factory? If you want to look like that, that's, you know, your ministry. But I was just like, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. So the shades I have, my actual foundation shade is Mauritania. Mauritania. And I love how all of them, they're like named after like Caribbean and African um, countries. So this is Mauritania. And then the one I'm gonna use to kind of contour is Abidjan. I have no idea where these locations are. So, you know, if you own a map or you're good at geography, you'd probably know. I have no idea. So I'm just gonna go ahead and They're definitely smooth. I feel like they're gonna give um, the same full coverage as the foundation, the Velvety I Am Magic foundation. I got another one of those too, cause like all the foundations are on sale. 
but I definitely wanted to try the shade six. I think these were six dollars when I bought them. I've been telling everybody, you know, they're having a sale and they have good products, so go ahead and good chores. Mm -mm -mm. I'm excited to see this concert, but I hope they bring some folk out, being that we're in New York, you know. I feel like they always bring out extra people in New York and New York, LA, Atlanta. So, hopefully they bring some extra folk out. I like these. They're definitely smooth, but they're, um... Anyway, I didn't color correct, so they're not covering all of like my dark spots and stuff. But it's definitely full coverage. And this blended really well with my skin, so I'm gonna just go over it again. I might add in um, the velvety. Well, here I keep dropping stuff. The velvety matte, um, like liquid foundation kind of. I might add just a touch of that on my forehead, just so I'm like full out cover because I don't want to look crazy. This space is so small and it's like stressing me out. Not mascara, but um, concealers. But yeah, I'm letting me get a chance to eat that. And I don't think they have a microwave in there. But it's whatever. The shoes I'm using today are the Eye Roar by Jasmine Brown. I just went in and like picked up whatever I thought was cute. I don't, I've never used these lashes before, so we'll see how they look. But, um, yeah. All right, so I got a long, ooh. I like these. And they're very long, but I do, um, well, I'm going to, um, set my face. 
like I said, I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use my air spun mousse and the um, the air spun mousse and the um, Juvia's place, but I don't know how that goes. I'm gonna use this one first because it's translucent and I know I won't leave anything. Just so um, I can get my oils. You know, I'm an oily girl. I don't think I'm gonna brush the excess away, but I'll probably like brush it to be blended in. It's 8.15. I actually on time. It was probably like on time. The concert starts at 8 30. I'm on time. I feel like they're not gonna start on time. I don't even know who's going first. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna go over it with this, with the powder. Um, looks like so. My sponges are so dirty, I need another one. I actually just washed this. with my foundation brush so we are in the same um ballpark of a look <laughs> Thank you. 